do you do an overview of protein synthesis? You know, it's, 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 an umble, as you know, it's a very complex story, but but maybe just using a few little manipulatives, we can kind of like skirt some of the some of the nitty gritty of this thing and 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 take a look at generally what's going to happen. Now, I'm going to start us out with a strand of mRNA that I've drawn, um, and oh boy, if I get this without messing it up, we're going to be in great shape. Okay. Here we go. So we've got the RNA, we're not messing with transcription, we're in the cytosol. The cytosol, the mRNA is sitting there looking for something to do. Along comes a ribosome, and the ribosome, literally the, the, the A portion of that ribosome initiates the entire translation event and bonds to this mRNA molecule, and we'll do it just like so. And then, once that occurs and this mRNA is bound into, the, the, the leader is bound into this thing, the first thing that's going to happen is along is going to come a tRNA molecule. And that tRNA molecule is going to have attached to it an amino acid. Ta-da! There it is. That was done by an enzyme. Okay, so we now have UAC. That being said, another part of this picture this initiation complex can, can come into play, and that will be the entire bigger part of the ribosome. So along comes the rest of the ribosome. I don't want to mess up my tRNA. With its three sites, the A site, the P site, and the E site. Okay. Now, sadly, I, don't, I can't make my ribosome jump, but we can redraw this, so we'll just keep flipping pages. This will be fun. All right, so here's my UAC, and now what can happen is, now that we've got this baby all together, along can come my next charge tRNA. Now, my next charge tRNA can't be just any tRNA. For example, if I try to bring in a charged GCA in here, well, wait, we don't get codon, anti-codon pairing. G doesn't go with G. A doesn't go with C, so this cannot happen. Instead, what has to happen is the proper codon has to come in here, or anticodon, and that would be CUA with its amino acid. Okay, so now we have two amino acids. What's going to happen? Well, what's going to happen is we are going, with the help of GTP, along comes GTP, and GTP is going to cause a dehydration synthesis. And in doing that, because of phosphorylated intermediates, we're gonna get a bond. And now, what will happen is the ribosome can move over. Okay, get rid of him. And when the ribosome moves over, what's going to occur? Well, we'll move the ribosome over, but as you can well imagine, this and this are gonna move into the E site in that direction. All right, so let's redraw this. So we'll move this over here. Be patient with me, okay? I'm gonna keep this because you and I both know my artistic abilities. We're gonna redraw my RNA. Doo -doo -doo -doo. We're gonna do A-U-G, G-A-U, C-A-A, C-G-U, U-A-A. But now my ribosome has done a very interesting thing. In moving over, it has now moved AUG into the E site. So let's draw my ribosome. There we go. There's my ribosome. And we have one, two, three. The E site, the P site, and the A site. Okay? Remember what happened. My UAC is now here. It has lost its amino acid. So it has to go find a new one. Okay, so it's out finding a new one. All right, meanwhile, I hope I'm not gonna need that again. Now, what's happened here is my CUA now has my dipeptide on it. Oh, and gee whiz, look what can happen here. Now, GUU can move in there. And wait a minute, we forgot something. GUU carries an amino acid. So now, we have the next step that can occur. Once again, What's going to help me out here? A triphosphor, a phosphorylated intermediate. We need some energy input here. We're going to make a bond. And so this gets hooked to that. What's going to happen? Once again, my ribosome is going to move 
five to three, or you could say my tRNA is going to move that way, or my mRNA is going to move that way. It's a, it's a relative thing, and so we now need still another drawing. Okay, so elongation is going to continue. So my growing polypeptide is right there, and let's do one more dipep one more peptide bond before we run out of room. So I am going to now take this off here. Look, we have a tripeptide at this point. Get rid of these guys, but I'm not going to throw anything for fear that I'll need them again. And we're going to draw my my strand one more time. Well, probably two or three more times. Okay, so we have AUG. And we have G A U C A A C G U U A A. I have to make sure I follow DNA's instructions and not mess with this thing. Okay, well look, my ribosome has moved over, and so now AUG is out of the picture. AUG is no longer in either the E, P, or A site. Well, what has occurred now is that GAU has now become down into the E site. This thing seems to be getting skinnier and skinnier by the drawing, but that's more artistic inability than anything else. So GAU, CAA, and CGU. GAU, CAA, CGU. Pay no attention to that line right there. Okay, that one right there. That's artist. All right, so, ooh, ooh, so what's happened here? Look, my CUA has lost its, it's gone. It's like, goodbye, I, I, I'm in the east side, I'm exiting, all right? There you go. Okay, my GUU is, let's see, my GUU is going to be right there. My GUU, how did that happen? I forgot to move it over one, didn't I? Let's do another drawing. <laughs> I, I just threw my tRNA away. That's okay. All righty. So, so now we have, back to this, draw my A... U G G A U C A A. Remember, this takes less than one minute in a cell. Um, C A A C G U U A A. Okay, now let's see if I can get this right. I want to be way over here with my ribosome, and so we have. Let's see the 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 the. the. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Okay, and now we have. I did it again. Here we go. <laughs> Wait, we move it here. There we go. Ah! I never pretended to be an artist. See this? Ignore it. Okay, so here we go. We have, oh look, it's back. My AUG, my CUA, okay, is now in the E site. My GUU is here. And my CGU, now remember this was here. Ta-da, like so. And now along can come GCA. Now GCA is going to be carrying an amino acid too. So look, exit, goodbye. Now I can really get rid of it. Okay. Isn't that great the way I managed to get that back here? You guys have no idea how I did that. And now we get to GCA. Now, to make a very long story a little bit shorter, I want you to look at this last codon. UAA. Do you guys remember UAA? Well, after we make this peptide bond here, and this slides over once again, and we get rid of this. We come to UAA, and I'm not going to move the ribosome over because guess what? I'd be wasting my time. Let's look at UAA. UAA, UAA is a stop codon. There's nowhere, no more amino acids to go on here. If there are no more amino acids to go on here, we're done. We have made a small but significant polypeptide, which can now either go into the ER, if there's a signal peptide at the end, which there wouldn't be because there's at least 20 on a signal peptide, but now this, this can work in the cytosol, perhaps as an enzyme, perhaps as a structural protein, or maybe even go back to the nucleus and become part of a ribosome. Who knows the destiny of this protein? All we know is that it was made. How cool is that?